Hey, it's Kilobyte here, and I'm doing a quick video on how to change the oil and filter on this 2001 Mitsubishi Eclipse. It's a 3G. This one is the 2.4 liter. The uh, V6 should be very similar. Safety-wise, yeah, those are jack stands. Before you start, warm the engine up. Warm it up and let it set for a few minutes. Be aware that it's going to be hot. Don't burn yourself. But the oil will flow better and any contaminants that are in it hopefully will be suspended by the oil and carried out with it and won't just be sitting at the bottom of the oil pan using a 17 mil wrench remove the oil plug make sure the pans under it and don't burn yourself on the hot oil once the oil stops draining from the pan you can remove the oil filter be sure the catch pan is in a good place i got lucky on this one and didn't need a filter wrench some oil will most likely drain from the filter i am using castrol 10w30 and the old fram filter that they used to have ph 3593a is no longer available you now use fram ph 7317 believe me i've checked it a few times you might still be able to find a few of these but apparently they don't make them anymore in case you're wondering about fram filters i wouldn't put one on my miata but a 200,000 mile eclipse filter is fine before you put the new filter on be sure to put oil around the gasket one way to do this and is to go like so doesn't matter if it's old oil it's not in your engine that's simply lubing the gasket material here the rubber material so it doesn't bind on the when you're putting it on also make sure that the old one isn't stuck to the bottom of the oil filter mount the drain plug it does have a washer on it which you can replace if you wish or you can most of the time reuse the old one the oil plug is right here so it's down at the back where it, like it should be mazda take a note and up in here is where the oil filter goes and you need to wipe, I suggest wiping the mounting surface there. All right, just screw that back on. And hand tighten it. Follow the instructions on it. You got to put the bolt back on. I wipe that good. Make sure there's no uh, sharp bits on it. Seventeen mil. Let's work it down. Okay, don't over tighten it. This thing takes four quarts. So we're gonna pour the old one in and then we'll put three and a half from the new one. If you're using an old jug, be sure to clean it off before you pour it in. If you got a funnel, great. If not, Hold it sideways and be careful. Don't pour too fast. Especially, actually, if it's a hot engine and you're pouring cold oil in it, uh, don't pour too fast. Putting something cold on something hot generally doesn't do well for the metal. Okay, I'm at about two and a half. Don't overfill it. 1.5, so it should be perfect. That was actually a little more than I wanted to put in it, but again, it should be, that's that's four quarts, so it should be good. Oil cap is on. We've added our oil. So now it's time to start it, run it a few minutes, and then we'll check for leaks. Okay, we're looking underneath it. Nothing. That's water coming from the AC over back right and we're going to look up at the pan nothing dripping and the oil filter hopefully you can see it nothing dripping from it so it should be good it's been off for five minutes <laughs> it's just a hair over actually the full that won't hurt it 
but it is slightly more than I wanted. Apparently there was just a tiny bit left in the pan. Be aware. Next time it's driven, they will check underneath, make sure it's not leaking and it should be good. Hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with yours.